moment I have the President of the Motor Racing Federation, this is Philip Bonds. Philip uh, is involved in hot rod in Limerick and he is the current President of the Irish Hot Rod Motor Racing Federation. Philip, you're very welcome to the fight. Thank you very much, sorry. Philip, how long are you involved in hot rod now at the moment? I'm involved five years, sir, in hot rod. And you were racing for a couple of years and you decided to take up office there on the top table uh, to, to, run, to run the show? I raced half it for two years, one dollar in 1993 and decided to take up the top table in for to see where I improved the racing around the country in different places. How many people are involved in this um, governing body, Philip? Uh, there's five people involved. There's, um, Charlie McNamara is the PRO, Mary Buckley is the secretary, Pat Clark is the treasurer and Willie Sullivan is the chairman. Another local man of my own club, Willie Sullivan. Philip, have you seen improvements since you took over, do you think? Uh, I've seen, we've seen a lot of improvements, Jerry. There's a lot of improvements since we took over the club and we hope that we'll make more improvements before we finish for the years. I with me is Stephen O'Keefe. Now Stephen is a new face to many people in hot rod racing. Stephen only got involved there a couple of years ago. He was PRO there for the last three years and a great job he done as PRO as I was chairman with him at the time. But now Stephen has taken up the top table. He has, he is a new chairman of the Waterford Hot Rod Club. Stephen, what's it like to be sitting up there? Uh, well, I'm only getting into it at the moment, Jerry. And, um, well, I'll have to try my best. And, you know, we have, I have a good club. Thanks to yourself, I think you've done a, a fantastic job in the number of years that you were there. And uh, all I can do is try and follow in your footsteps and do the best I can. As I say, to here today, I think is a uh, good evidence of the club and the way we're, the way it's been ran. And hopefully everybody comes here today and now as well. And hopefully with this, maybe that we get a lot more as well. But I'm just finding my fees at the moment. That's true, I I suppose is the handiest thing to, to say to you. Since you came here, you know you're only here a couple of years. You're doing that, that you have a little job there every Sunday down there on the pits gate, living in the cars and li living out the cars. But you definitely, since you started, even since the short time you started, a lot of improvements, a lot of work has been done here. Yes, they have indeed, an awful lot of work. When I when I came here first, there, just as a spectator, the back straight there wasn't all all, all concrete, which it is now. It has improved. I, I think myself to safety, which is I think more important than anything else. And uh, the pit gate there is is fantastic. There, like I wish the way it's been done now at the moment. And uh, you know, kind of the railing is done since since I came here as well. And uh, it is, as I say, with safety in mind. Uh, anyway, um, it's. I think it's a fantastic little uh, track here at the moment. Colonel Sullivan 374, Mike Murray from Dunmore number 5, Ian Darcy number 48, Colin Burn number 255, James O'Shea number 70, John Millward number 421, Alan Kinsella number 88, and Jerry Tobin number 189. Of this evening, of the St. Stephen's Day racing here at the Pike, and this is the Class 1 race. Again, we give the cars a lap or so just to sort themselves out. Number 255, Colin Bourne. And in second place there in the class one this evening is number 88, Alan Kinsella. Followed by number 48, Ian Darcy. Right, can we have class two cars be lining up please at the track? Class two cars be lining up please at the pits gate. We are looking for class two cars to be lining up at the pits gate please. We are of course at our first race of this evening, the class one. In fact, 
We're coming to the closing stages of the class one now. Number 70 there, James O'Shea, trying to get out there in the bottom corner there, but not succeeding. Again, James O'Shea, number 70 there, trying to make a break for it, but held back by 48. In fact, he has made a break for it, and he's now out in the lead position. Number 70 there, James O'Shea. They come up the back straight now. James O'Shea being hedged in towards the ditch there, but making his way out. Second flag there going to number 255. Colin Byrne. Second place there, James O'Shea, number 70. And third place there, number 48. Class two cars be getting ready and out on the line now, please. Class two cars. Here with me now I have Liam Healy, and Liam Healy is from the North Cork. Hot Rod Club and Liam is actually chairman of the Waterford Club. A great supporter here of, of Hot Rod and Waterford. He comes racing here every Sunday that there's Hot Rod racing. Liam, what do you think of it down here? Pike is a mighty place, lad. Only place to race. One of these is now we'll do a track in our, in our club and that'll be it then. Good luck, Jerry. Thanks very much. <laughs> Cheers, Liam. That was very unfair. We we'll have to give you a great house of entertainment here on the pike and we hope that, that when you do build your track that we can form a bond between the two clubs and we will travel up and down to one another. No bother at all, Jerry. You're quite welcome on our club any time, lad. And class three, our class two race is just after getting underway here now at the pike. <laughs> Again, the cars will, give, will be giving the cars a lap or so just to warm up. Out in the lead here we have number 455. And as they come around the top corner there, number 455 out in the lead. Being closely followed by number 391 and number 290. And as they tear up the back stretch there, number 455, just increasing his lead there over his uh, position, number 2, number 391. And they'll come tightly around the top corner there. A battle royal on there for 290 and 391. Front there we have Owen Hickey tearing up the back straight there, putting a, an impressive lead between himself and uh, his rival there. Number two position, number 391, which is of course Fergal O'Brien. Just reminding you the drivers will be getting ready for the class three race, please. Could we have the drivers be getting ready for the class three race, please? Shamazel up there in the top corner as they come around again. But they're getting into that position. A bit of trouble there, but they're still going on. We have a new leader after all that. Number 391 out there in front, Virgil O'Brien. Number 391 out in front. In second place there, number 290, Mark Brown. Number 455 there is off the track, out of the race. And as they come around the top corner again, we have still number 391 out in front. 290 is desperately trying to make up some ground there, but not generally succeeding as they come around the bottom corner there. Again, as they come up the back there, number 391 out in front. Losing a bit of speed there, I thought, as they came up the top corner, came around the top corner, but there you are. It's anybody's race as yet. It is, of course, the class two. Number 290, desperately trying to make a break for it there now as they come around the bottom corner, but 391 heading him off there. And did they come up the top, around the bottom corner there? Bit of ground there as they come around the bottom. But, uh, and they're losing it there completely, so to speak, losing a bit of speed there. And out in front we have three, two, three, four there, Pat Power. So we have a new, we have a new uh, leader there in the class two race, Pat Power, number two, three, four. And as they head up again, number three, two, seven, Jimmy Brown, falling back a little bit, but still, as I say, it's anybody's race as yet. This is of course the class two, the second race of this evening, number two, three, four. 
Coming down the bottom there. Could we have class three be getting ready now, please? Class two, three be getting ready. Class three be getting ready now. And the scrutineers at the hood. Again, returning to our race here. Number two, three, four. Out there in front, Pat Power. Maintaining an impressive lead there as they come around the back corner, at the bottom corner there and head up the back straight. And in second position, a battle royal between 3, 2, 7. And he's competitive there for want of a number. Number 304. It's number 304 and 327 there. Trying to make it into second position, but generally not succeeding. 327 there, Jimmy Brown heading him off nicely. Going back to our leader there, 234, putting a good gap now between himself and his competitor. As they come up the back straight and head into the top corner there. Second flag going to 234 and 327 and 304. That's the way it's looking. 234, Pat Powell there out in front. And in second position there, 327, Jimmy Brown. So that's the class two race, so to speak, out of the way. Could we have the could, could we have the class trees now begin ready? and waiting at the pit skate corner class trees be getting ready and waiting at the pit skate corner we have tom driving 184 declan brown driving 183 paul hickey driving number three we want tommy kiley out onto the track we want tommy kiley out onto the track number 455 is something wrong with his suspension so on please safely racing so to speak our first car there, our lead car number 153. We'll be keeping an eye on that fella as he heads round the track there. straight there now. The bulk of the cars. Number 153 heads down the front. And the way out in his own there. S3 there. Trying to keep up with him but no good. As the bulk of the cars head down the bottom corner there. A little bit of shuffling going on down there. there down the back there but nevertheless the racing still goes on just the yellow flag going out for this particular instance now just the yellow flag telling drivers to be very careful and we've another turn about there just at, at the bottom of the spectators corner there number 370 rating himself again trees he comes up the back straight there he's all in his own so to speak so position number one looks secure for the time being a little bit of a battle royal on there for position number two between 407 370 and s3 but nevertheless it's anybody's race as you can appreciate as yet anybody's race at all Number 370 there on S3, jostling a little bit there for position number two. And then finally going to S3 there, so S3 there in position number two. And position number three goes to 407 of course. So out there in front.
round we have bit car number 153. Looking fairly good to check the checkered flag. Although, as I said, it's anybody's race as yet. Position number two as they come down the front here goes to S3. And the new position there, number 33, going, of course, to Paul Mulcahy driving number 33 there in third place. Class 4 cars be getting ready now please for the next race. Class 4 cars be getting ready for the next race. Class 4 cars be getting ready for the next race please. Class 4. Last lap sign going out now. So the very last lap sign going out now for the Class 3 cars. 33, they are getting the last lap sign. Checkered flag getting ready now. Getting ready to be waved. The number 370, they are 153. They are getting the checkered flag. Number 407, they are still getting a checkered flag, uh, getting the last lap sign. Position number 3, they are going course to Mulcahy, that's position number three, going to Paul Mulcahy. We have class four cars, be getting ready and at the pit skate corner please. Class four cars, be getting ready and waiting at the pit skate. Number 126, Stephen O'Shea. He's our leader, so to speak, at the moment. But then again, a lap or so can make an awful lot of difference, especially in a class four. Six, Stephen O'Shea out there in front. And as they head up the back straight there, number 122 in position, Gerard O'Connor there in position number 2, being beaten over in, and being relegated into position number 3. As they head up the, head around the top corner there and head on the bottom. Number 281 there in second position of course, number 281 there moving into position number 2. And again as they head up the back straight there, number 126 out there in front. But number 281 there, coming up at a very, very fast speed, and they're coming on the top corner there. Number 281 there, taking the lead. Number 281 there, taking the lead. And Adam Loftus there being pushed into position. Uh, number 126 there being pushed into position number 2. Number 218. And he is, as they come up the back straight there, now he's putting in comfortable distance between himself and uh, position number 2318. Declan Power there in position, driving number car number 60, Declan Power in position number 3. As they come around the top corner and heading down here in front of us, car number 281 there, way out there in front. bottom corner but there you are that's hot rod racing for you number 318 now desperately trying to push himself push into position number one but 218 to come on the bottom corner they're hitting him off nicely Number 126 there, sounds like if he's engine trouble and indeed looks like a two. And if indeed he's, he's out of the race. Going back to our leader here, number 281. Number 318 now, desperately on his tail there. But number 21, number 218 there. 
Our 2 8 one there, being pushed into position number two. Three one eight there out in front, just couldn't make it there, hadn't got the speed as they come up the back straight there. So three one eight there, way out there in front. Number 318 there, trying to put a bit of a distance between himself and his competitor there. But 281 on his tail there, as they come up the back straight there. Position number 3 there, of course, goes to number 60 there, Declan, Power, Declan Power. But the Power. Number 281 does, he just cannot break into position number one again. Lost a bit of ground there a couple of laps ago and cannot seem to regain it, so to speak. Checkered flag, of course, going out there to 318 and to 281. And in position, of course, number 60 there, position number three goes to Declan Power. Coming out of war for today, if you see much improvement since you started half hour racing. Well, the racing has much improved and the classes are very even now and the, the track is in great condition today and it should be a very fast race of today. Charlie, you're a man that travels all over the, the county, all over racing with different clubs. Uh, what do you think about the racing? Has it improved since you joined the Federation? Well, the racing is very much improved, yeah. It's very fair and all. There's great selection of classes for all the drivers now. Uh, Charlie, you're driving class 5 now today here on the pike. You usually drive class 1 on the grass. What do you think of the difference in the two cars? Well, the class 5 is ideal for the track because the handle is perfect and there's plenty of power in it. Uh, class 1 is really suitable for the field and it'll be great fun on the field with class 1 at the moment. Mike Hill and St. Stephen's Day. Car number 191. Our lead car here, number 191. Out there in front. Again, it'll take a lap or so for these class 5 cars to get themselves into their position. But we're bound to see some training racing here this evening. Class 191, car 191 now, Michael Cusack coming down. Coming down in front of us here and still maintaining our position. Number one position. In second place, of course, we have Declan Power, number 16. And the position number three, as they come up the back straight there, number 207. That's Charlie McNamara, number 207 there, the position number three. So as they pass down in front of it is how you see them. That's number one position. Number two goes to number 60. And third position there goes to 207, Charlie McNamara. Again as they head up the back there, car number 191. Number 207 there, moving into position number two. Charlie McNamara there, moving into position number one, as a matter of fact, as he comes on in front of us now. Charlie McNamara there, in position number one. And of course, Declan Powell there, in position number two. Number 207 there, way out there in front as it comes up the back corner there, as it comes around the, the bottom corner there and heads up the back straight. Number 207 there, Charlie McNamara way out there in front. Hardy Sheehan there out in position number two, Hardy Sheehan there, moving into position number two. Willie Hunt there in position number three, driving car number 34. So Charlie McNamara out there in front, position number one. And they come down in front of us here. Position number two goes across to number 54. 
Hardy Sheehan and number three goes to Willie Hunt number 34. The stock cars be lining up now and waiting at Pitskate Corner. Stock cars are the next race on the card. Stock cars, so could the stock cars be getting ready and waiting at the Pitskate? Returning to our race here, of course, which is the Class 5 race. Charlie McNamara maintaining a very comfortable lead in front of his competitor there, number 34, Louis Hunt. And of course, in second position there, we have number 54. Paddy Sheehan. And they come around the top corner there now. We hear the screech of tyres. 407 still out there in front. Charlie McNamara way out there in front. Car number 54, Paddy Sheehan. He's right on his tail now. But look at Charlie McNamara go as he comes up the back straight there, number 207. McNamara, number 54, and of course, last lap sign going out to position number 3 as well. Right? Again, if they come up the back straight there, it looks like Charlie's race. We don't know as yet anything can happen up there in the top corner, but it looks like Charlie's race. Yes, it is Charlie McNamara in position number 1, position number 2, 54. Body Sheehan, and of course, second, third position there going to number 281. of the evening and we have Anne McNamara 207, Frida Healy 304, Louise Brown number 318. We have five cars participating in this particular race. Out in front here our leader is of course number 10. Number 304 there, Reed Healy in position number 2. So car number 10 out there in front, and incidentally car number 10, if any of the drivers is interested, this particular car is for sale. Car number 304 now, Reed Healy. Out in front, car number 304 is out in front. So, car number 304 there is maintaining its uh, the position number one, and of course, the position number two we have number 16. seven there to be in this particular race has to do a lap around completely again so we are discounting car number 207 we have to do a lap around completely but our leader there our leader there number 304 Brady Healy out there in front we are looking for class one and class two cars out onto the track class one and class two cars out onto the track Going back to our race here, we have 304 there, Brady Healy out there in front. 304, Brady Healy out there in front, and they come around the bottom corner there. In position number two, we have 144. And of course, 318 there, Louise Brown moving now into position number two. So Louise there moving into position number two. And 304 there still maintaining a very comfortable lead over the competitors. Car number 
207 now and it passes down in front of us here trying to make up ground now to come into any position at all in the race we're going back to our leader here number 304 out there in front 318 position number two and position number 144 in our car number 144 in position number three One eight there coming into position, <coughs> coming into position number one now, and you will there. Three one eight, Louise Brown in position number one. Three oh four there being relegated to position number two, and number one four four cutting up position number three. So as we see it, as they come up the back straight there now, is as they are. Three one eight there, Louise Brown out in front, position number one. to come down in front of us here, Louise still out there in position number one, being closely followed by 3 or 4. Car number 144 there in position number 3. Could we have class 1 and class 2 get be getting ready and waiting at the pitch gate please? Class 1 and class 2 be getting ready there at the pitch gate. Number 318 there, returning to our leader, putting a very good distance now between ourselves and number 304. So as they get the last lap sign there now, it's looking like 318 there, Louise Brown in position number one, position number two, Breda Healy in 304, and number 144 in position number three. So as they come up the back straight there, as you see them as they're lined out in the track there, that's the way it looks, so to speak. Louise Brown there, getting the checkered flag. And Angela McNamara and McNamara there, getting 207 there in position number two. I nearly call her Angela McNamara, but she's Anne McNamara there, position number 207 in number two. Top drivers here on the here on the track. Willie drives an escort in class five. A beautiful prepared escort you can probably see here on the background. He's number there, 34. Willie, since you started racing here on the pike, a lot of improvements. Oh, big big improvements with concrete and safety in the barrier and and spectator wise and everything. Do you think Hartford has improved Willie since you started racing? Oh yes, in a big way. And in in future, do you think we will get better and Hartford in the pike will get bigger? Oh, I'd say it will, yeah. This year now we can see an awful difference in the bike. Even today I've noticed, Willie, there was a lot of strange cars and sights being here on the bike. A lot of drivers that I haven't seen here before. Yeah, there's a lot of cars here today. They're racing. And the pattern looks like very much as it was before. Car number 88 out there in front, Alan Kinsella there, as they come up the back straight there. Car number 88, for the moment, maintaining uh, position number one in the first of the combined races here this evening. Eamon Quirk there and John Milward battling it out there for position number two, as they come round the bottom corner. We're still car number 88 there, being driven by Alan Kinsella, still maintaining position number one. Again, it's only the start of the race, anything can happen, and we've seen that happen before. Number 388, Eamon Quirk there, number 421, John Melwell, back to get out for position number two. As they come around the bottom corner again. But Alan Kinsella there, way out of trouble there, and is still looking comfortable in position number one. Being overtaken there in the top corner, or trying to be overtaken there in the top corner, but still maintaining his position there. Alan Kinsella, driving car number 888. Car number 88 again. Way out of harm's way there, and out in his own there, in the lead position. Now, could we have the...
the class three cars be getting ready. Class three cars be getting ready and lining up at Pitsgate Corner. Class three cars be getting ready and lining up at Pitsgate Corner there please. Class three cars be getting ready and lining up at Pitsgate Corner. Going back to our racing here. Car number 88 still looks fairly good here in position number one. Being closely followed there by John Millwall in position number two. And number three, 88, Eamon Quirk occupying position number three. As they come around the bottom corner again, number 88 there, still out in front. John Milward there, number 4 to 1, on his tail now, trying to overtake him there as they come around the top corner there, but generally not succeeding, or is he? It's neck and neck as they come down here, car number 88 there, Alan Kinsella still looking good, and sadly to say, Alan Kinsella has been relegated to position number 2. He lost a bit of speed here, going around the bottom corner, have a little bit of a shimmel here in front. Number 327, number 370 right in front of us here. Touching off each other, so to speak. We have a yellow flag which indicates that the drivers must slow down or take extreme caution. Going back to our race here, number 421. Is out in position number one. That's been driven by John Milward. Number four to one. Is out half now in, in position number one. Number 88 there. Alan Kinsella going on to position number two. Number 388 there. Occupying position number three. Eamon Quirk there. Occupying position number three. So it looks like 4 to 1 at the moment is in the lead position. Number 4 to 1 is in the lead position. And they're coming on in front of us here now. It's 4 to 1, 88 and 388. Of course, 4 to 1, been driven there by John Millward. 388, been driven by Eamon Quirk. And 88, been driven by Alan Kinsella. <laughs> They come around the bottom corner, head up the back straight there now, 4 to 1. Putting a good distance, I'd say, between himself and number 88. But then again, anything can happen in this class 1 and class 2. We have seen it before here on the pike, and we'll see it again, no doubt. So it's looking like car number 4 to 1 is out in front, John Millward. And they come up the back, back corner there now. Kinsella there in position number two and 388 there, Eamon Quirk in position number three. No change as so to speak as they come down in front of us here. Number 421 there, John Millward inching away the whole time and increasing the lead between himself and his nearest competitor, number 88. Last lap sign now going up. It looks like 4 to 1, and it is 4 to 1, in fact, in position number 1. But 4 to 1 there, John Millward in position number 1. 88 there, position number 2. So that's the way it looks, 4 to 1 there. Literally running away with it there, John Millward. Right, we have 4 and 5 to the track to the pitch gate, please. 4 and 5 to the, to the pitch gate. At the moment racing here we have class number 3, on the track at the moment we have class 3, and um, we have one gone to the country already, it looks like that we have a red flag, a red flag, number 10 there, being closely followed by class number 3, 4, 7 there, as they hide our head around the bottom corner there. Another couple of them going to the country, no disaster narrowly averted, so to speak. Car number 10 there, right out in front, being closely followed by 183. As they turn the corner and head up the back straight there now, it looks like car number 10. Maintaining a comfortable distance between himself and his nearest rival, car number 2. At the pass in front of us here, car number 183. In third position, of course, we have car number 98. So they head.
headed around the bottom corner and head up the back straight again. It's car number 10 way out in front. Increasing his lead, you'll notice the whole time there between himself and his nearest competitor. Which of course is car number 183. So it's 10, 183 and 96 in first, second and third positions respectively. lead and putting a, a bigger gap between himself and his competitor the whole time. Number 183. Yes, we can hear the screech of tyres there as they head around the bottom corner there. Going back to our leader here, car number 10. He's still out in front there. Increasing his distance the whole time in this class 3 race here at the pike. So it's still car number 10 away out there in front. In position 183 there in uh, second position. So it's car number 10 as they head around the bottom corner and head up the back straight there. It's still looking like car number 10 at the moment. Going back to our class 3 race here. It still looks like position number 10. Looking fairly good here to take the checkered flag, although you don't know, you never know, anything can happen. But it certainly looks like that car number 10 is going to run away with it. Of course, car number 10 being driven there by John O'Donovan. Looks like number 10, John O'Donovan, maintaining a good distance between himself and 183. Moving into position number one, number two now of course, at the passes down here. Is of course number 183. And a battle royal there between 19 and 427 there for position number three. between number 10 and his nearest rival there, number 183. Declan Brown getting bigger and bigger the whole time. That gap is increasing the whole time and it could look good for number 10 there to get the checkered flag. The last lap sign going out now. One more lap to do to take the checkered flag. And it looks like that number 10 is going to run away with it. And John O'Donovan there driving car number 10. Driving car number 183 is of course Declan Brown and driving number 98 is of course Patrick Ryan. So that's the way it looks at the moment. John O'Donovan there taking the checkered flag there for the class 3 race. <laughs> with me at the moment I'm Tony O'Driscoll and Tony is a vice chairman of the East Cork Hot Rod Club which is based around Middleton, Fermi, that area. Tony always comes here to the pike again. Great support from the East Cork Club. Tony, how are you for the future? I oh, will. At the moment, like, we're only just kind of getting back together now again, like, after we on a good year after the old and we took a bit of a break, I think, one year after wrestling since that was down here. But, um, we'll hopefully be back next year again in full swing again. Tony, you race on grass only? That's it, yeah. You know, grass fields. We walk the race on green fields as much as we can. We have a lot of fairly good fields there, like, behind Lamoir, Belly Duff, Wild Gas Hill, like, and, you know, for my, hopefully we'll try and get a few more of them again for next year. Fourth car there on the line, I can't see the number of the escort. 60 there is Declan Power in the class 4, 281. There's Alan Loftus, Martin Brown, 318, 200 James Clark, 34 Willie Hunt, 54 Paddy Sheen, 207 at the rear of the field, Charlie McNamara. It's all around. The first car off the line is, four, is 191, I think, 191 and 122. They are the first cars off the line. They are a lap up on Charlie McNamara. He has to come around and pass them if he is able to do so. So we're looking for blue flags all around the way to race. We have a red flag, we have a red flag. 
Okay, we're all ready to go. And away they go. The leaders 191. That is Jamie Cusick from 122, Joe O'Connor. Got the class fives there at the back of the field. Very, very quick. But it's still 191 from 122. They are the leaders at the moment. And they are followed by 281, Alan Loftus, Declan Power, Martin Brown. But up the back straight they go, still 191 in the lead. That is Jamie Cusick from 122. Joe O'Connor slips up the inside as they go into Stratton Motors. And Joe O'Connor takes over the lead as they come down in front of us. Alan Loftus now and Declan Power, Martin Brown making up a lot of grounds in the back of the field. But still out in the lead, 122 from the Norcock Club, Gerald O'Connor. He's followed by 191, there Jamie Cusey coming under pressure now from 281, Alan Loftus. But out of Scranton Motors, it's still 122, Gerald O'Connor in the lead from Alan Loftus in second place. Martin Brown and Declan Power starting to move up there and take over there from 191 who loses it all. He's okay, he's still going. But into Scranton Motors they come, it's 122, that is Gerald O'Connor being put under a lot of pressure now from Alan Loftus. Declan Power and Martin Brown side by side as they go on Piscay Corner. Up the back straight they go. It's Alan Loftus now starting to put on the pressure there and takes over the lead from 122, Gerald O'Connor. Tommy Kiley, oh sorry, Declan Power on top place and Martin Brown alongside him. Alan Loftus from the East Cock Club in the lead from 122, Gerald O'Connor. Declan Power and Martin Brown are side by side. Willie Hunt now starting to make up a lot of ground there at the back of the field. Paddy Sheen trapping to throw a little bit of smoke there as he passes it through the chicken. Well, we go back to the leader as they come out of Scranton Motors. That is 281 making a bit of a mistake there but keeping the holding on to his first place. That is Alan Loftus, Gerald O'Connor, Declan Power and Martin Brown. Willie Hunt now are really after closing the gap on the leaders. Up the back straight they go, it's still 281. That is Alan Loftus from Gerald O'Connor, Declan Power, Willie Hunt shoots up into fourth place. Flags there for the leaders, 281, Alan Loftus from Declan Power in second place. Class 5 cars now after coming up on top of the Class 4 cars. They're all together now as they go up the back straight. Nothing between them. Well, Willie Hunt goes up the outside. Charlie McNamara follows him. But as they come out of Scranton Motors, it's still in the lead. It's 281. That is Alan Loftus from Declan Power in second place. Willie Hunt now shoots up into top place. Brown Pitsgate corner. Still Alan Loftus holds a nice lead from Declan Power. Martin Brown is in third. Willie Hunt there losing two places. And Charlie McNamara moves up to, in the inside of the track. And he goes up into second place. But it's still 281 Alan Loftus. Charlie McNamara in second place. Declan Power, Paddy Sheen, Martin Brown, Willie Hunt together. 491 there's a back marker. Up the back straight they go, 281, Alan Loftus from Charlie McNamara, Declan Power and Paddy Sheen, and Paddy Sheen takes over top place as they go into Scranton Motors. But it's still 281, Alan Loftus from Charlie McNamara, Paddy Sheen and Declan Power, Willie Hunt and Martin Brown. Alan Loftus driving a superb race, again as they face the back straight, it's still Alan Loftus from Charlie McNamara, Paddy Sheen in top place. It's Declan Power and Willie Hunt side by side, and Willie moves up into fourth. Charlie McNamara now putting a lot of pressure on Alan Loftus. Through the chicane they go, last lap. They're on their last lap. It's still Alan Loftus, Charlie McNamara. Up the back straight they go, it's Alan Loftus in the lead. Charlie McNamara coming up his long side Hit the scrap and as they go, it's still Alan Loftus in the lead. Charlie McNamara on the outside. Watch them coming down the line, ladies and gentlemen. It's Alan Loftus, from 207, Charlie McNamara. Party Sheen in top position and Willie Hunt in front. What a superb race. Definitely the race. Out in the lead is number 88, Alan Kinsella from 455. That is Owen Hickey. 
They're up the back straight they go. They're still 88 in the lead from 455. And 388 they are back back in third place. As they go through Scotland Motors, it's still Alan Kinsel in the lead from 370. That is Paul O'Connor. Into Scotland Motors, still 88. Alan Kinsel in the lead from Paul O'Connor. And Paddy Sheen, car is Paddy Sheen is driving around, I'm not sure. the back straight they go, it's still 88 in the lead, from 370 Paul O'Connor, 54 there Paddy Sheehan, and 200 is James Clark, down to the chicane, number 88, from 54, Paul O'Connor and James Clark, has moved up the field, from the back of the field. Cast for the winner's race immediately, please. Cast for the winner's race immediately, please. Paddy Sheen takes over the lead here as they go into Scranton Motors. From Jim, from Alan Kinsler. Jim Clark now goes up into second place. Up the back straight is number 54. 288. I'm not rightly sure, ladies and gentlemen, if my commentary is correct, but I'm trying to do it best we can. 50, what, 54 laps down. Up the back straight, number 54. From 200. There's still, I think it's 54 on the lead, I'm stand to be correct and I'm not sure. From 200, second place, and 281. Start line ten laps. There's still car number fifty four, Paddy Sheehan. Two ninety retires and two hundred in second place. Like I said a minute ago, I stand to be correct if I'm not hundred percent sure. James Clark is in trouble as he goes through the chicane. And number 10 has blown his engine, I think. A lot of smoke there coming out of number 10, he's in trouble. But up the back straight, there's still 54 there, Paddy Sheehan. From 122, Gerald O'Connor. 200, James Clark. Jamie Cusick loses it on, goes in over the towers. Watch up there, cross Marshall. For sale up in the side of that car, unfortunately, he blew his engine. Two cars retiring down there on the bottom of the track. But it's still Hardy Sheehan. As they come in to take the last lap side, there's a lot of smoke now blowing from a lot of engines. Water hose gone there, 370. And we have the last lap sign. Car for the winner's race immediately, please. Car for the winner's race immediately, please. Getting very, very dark for racing now at the moment. We have one more race to go, just one more race before the demolition derby.
Checker flag for 54. Second place is 200. And Gerald O'Connor or Declan pa Tommy Kiley in third. This result is totally unofficial, ladies and gentlemen. That result is totally Johnny Milward goes out into the lead. Out the lead is 4-2-1, Johnny Milward. And he is followed by Ian Larrissey. Four five six John Casey and Liam Healy. But it's still Johnny Melwood, Tomine Larrasy, John Casey and Todd, Liam Healy in fourth. Ninety-eight there, Patrick Ryan and Todd. Class fives have to pass them twice. So we're back to our leader, that is 421, Johnny Milrod from 48, Ian Larrasy, John Casey, Liam Healy. They are the four, four second, third and fourth. The class fives will have to pass these cars twice to be in with a shout. But it's still Johnny Milwood in the lead, followed by the second place by Ian Larrasy. John Casey and Liam Healy, they are third and fourth. Class 5 drivers are looking for road, they're looking for road up the back straight and they get through. They're still only fighting to come around to complete one lap, they have to pass the leaders twice. But it's still 4.21 in the lead. 421, John Melwood in the lead from Ian Larrasy, John Casey, Liam Healy. Liam Healy nearly going to the country below there on the bottom corner. Patrick Reiner moved up a little bit on him. Once the class fives are out, they'll be all on the one lap, but it's still 421. John A. Melwood from Ian Larrasy, John Casey, Liam Healy, and Patrick Ryan. They're all on the one lap at the moment. It's still in the lead. 421. Johnny Melwood, Tommy Larrasy, John Casey, Patrick Ryan, and Liam Healy. And they are the ones that count at the moment. But through the chicane they go. 421. Johnny Melwood. From John Casey. Patrick Ryan in top place. This is a 10 lap race and Charlie goes very wide off the corner but spreads them up again and Marty Sheen moves up a place. But it's still in the lead, 421, Johnny Milward from John Casey in second place and Liam Healy in third with Patrick Ryan moving up alongside him. And Tommy Kiley has a little touch there, lose it all. Twenty-one, John Millward, still in the lead from 4-5-6, John Casey, Alan Loftus moving up into top places, they go into Scranton Motors. But it's still 4-21, from 2-81, and 4-5-6. Martin Brown retires, as they up the back straight. 421 in the lead, just Johnny Melwood from East Car Club, he's followed by his club mate 281 Alan Loftus and he is followed again by his club mate John Casey. It's the first second and third for East Cork at the moment. Back of the field, but still up the back straight they go. 421, John Melwood from 281, Alan Loftus, and they are coming in to take the last lap sign. Alan Loftus goes up into the lead as he takes the last lap sign. Alan Loftus from John Melwood, Hardy Sheen moves up into third. They are on their last lap. Salah Loftus, 281 in the lead from Johnny Milwood and Paddy Sheehan are pushing hard to gain another position. But as they come through over the line, it's 281, Alan Loftus from 421, John Milwood takes second and 54, Paddy Sheehan takes third. And a bit of a collision over there as they go into Scranton Motor, but it makes no difference, it's all over. So it's 281 the winner. We are looking for the cast for the Grand Demolition Derby. Serving member of 
Hot Rod Motor Racing here in the Pike. On my left here, from Dunmore East, is Tom Murray. You are president of the Hot Rod Club for a lot of years. Yes, Jerry, very much. Uh, about eight years, it's a. And Tom, you've been coming here since it started. Tom, you must have, s you must see big improvements since we started here in the Pike. Well, there's a big improvement on speed and price-wise. Get involved. Oh, 25 years ago. That's a long time to be involved in a sport. And you, how long are we here in the Pike? Since 81. 1981, the, tr the track started here in the Pike. There must be a big improvement though since, you, since we started oh, here. There is, yeah, there is. It's gone very fast. Uh, it's, it's very good in every way now, as regards the crowd that's coming and newcomers coming in from other clubs and all that kind of thing. Man to the track, Brendan, he lives right across the road. They are off doing a lap and away he goes. The cadet. But the Chevette there is Eamon Carroll. Oh, that lad is awful sick. And Tom Killeley hangs in at the rear. Beautiful Volvo there, lash up the line. And look at Tom Killeley above. Oh, that's cuteness. Come on, get them fellas down in here. Get them Volvos down in here till we get them competing. And the cart dealer there, Paddy Nugent. Paddy goes in the sand, Paddy, that could be very costly going in there on that sand. And Tom Keneally starts to come and bang. Oh, it didn't knock a shake out of Volvo. David Bellows from now, David's car's not going too well. And yes, going, oh, what a slap the man's on. This thing here, there's no numbers on him, so I can't give you names off the top of my head. Tom Keneally gets a shunt down the front, he didn't even mark the paint. And look at David pushing away mad. David Bellows are trying his hat out, remember he's the reigning champion. <coughs> We are missing one vital man here today, couldn't get a car, that is Brian Cook. Right, yes, Gorn is in trouble. And we've two of them down here in the front out of it as well. But look at Tom Keneally coming back with the tank. David now moving up, gets the shunt there from the Carina. Go in the sand and he'll stay there. All oh, them boys are clever. Look at the way they push the men out of the way. And here comes Tom Keneally. And bang. And the Karina is very shocked. That is a half a Karina you see out there in front of you. Oh, what a thump off the ladder. But David is stuck in the sand, though. What a disaster. And Tom Keneally is still going. You'll have to bend down there, spectators. Come on, bend down. You're blocking the view. Come on now, lads. Down on your knees. Come on. And the ladder goes forward, the Karina still, at the half of Karina still going strong. That's the right Karina belong to John Fuller. John Fuller. Oh, John is out of it. There's the right Karina, I down John's name down for the right Karina. What is that? Oh, here comes Tom Keneally. Oh, what a clever. Oh, the Volvo. Still going strong. Cleaners in trouble. Cleaners. Oh, what a thump on the ladder. Who oh, said ladders were no good? Look at that job pushing a big Volvo up the track ahead of him. There'll be big sailor ladders next week. Oh, not a thump for the Carina. He's out of it. He's out of it. Oh, he missed the ladder again. That Carina is gone. Get that driver out of there, lads. Get him out of it. Still going, there's two cars left. Two cars still going strong. Tom Keneally is still going strong. Oh, what a bang in the side. Oh, that was a real signal for the, the Volvo. Dungarvan car, the smacks are still going well. Goes the lad again in for the kill. A flat wheel now on the Volvo. A 
Oh, there they come again. Oh, what a slap up the front of them. But the lad is looking good. No good pushing them up there. You can't bang them up there. Come on, get them cows back in between the tiles again. Get them back in here. And the lad is still banging away, man. Oh, he missed them coming down the way. But there's still Tom Killeely and the ladder, I'm not sure of the, of the name. It is Paul Hickey, yes, Paul Hickey and Tom Killeely. Is Tom Killeely in trouble? Is that ladder still going? I think he's looking good, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking good at the moment. He's still rolling. Tom Killeely is stopped. Tom Killeely is stopped. Uh, he's going but he's not rolling. He'll have to get out onto the track there if he wants to stay competing. But it's still Paul Hickey. But oh, there's an awful sick sound out of it now. Because Paul Hickey. Yes, his cars, wheels are still rolling. Once them wheels are rolling, he goes under the little nudge. Oh, he's gone very, very weak. And he goes forward, he's going to get a run him. Has he a little bit left? The fan is just tearing off the front of the car, I can hear it from here. Oh, another thump in the driver's door. Or in the passenger door. And yes, what's happening? We're waiting patiently. We have a checker flag, we have a checker flag. Paul Hickey, I think, is the winner. Paul Hickey. That's Paul Hickey, Paul Hickey and Tom Killeely. And it's Paul Hickey is the winner. Just remind spectators there, ladies and gentlemen. He was the chairman of the Waterford Club for so many years. Jerry, you've stepped down this year. Yes, Philip, I decided to take a break. I'm, uh, I'm chairman. I was chairman there of the club there the last eight years. I, I, I was there since Earl Ireland in Lismore there in 1989. And um, I, I think when it comes to AGMs there, it was a kind of a formality there every every year that Jerry Tobin was automatically proposed and no one would go against him. So this year I decided that it was time to take a break. I think it's time that new faces moved in here and there. And um, for the good of the sport, I, I, I definitely feel that you do need new faces and you need new people around, different ideas, brighter ideas. You know, you know yourself, it, it takes a lot of people to, to keep a concern like this going.